Hey guys, today I'm gonna to talk about the best $10 flea market haul. And I've been going to flea markets for ever since I was a little, and I don't need to go to them, but I really like it. And one of my artists, I commissioned a bunch of artists, and you should be seeing a new intro extra. Yay for that, right? Uh, soon, I'm getting a Chandra done for Fire Emblem. Paige is actually gonna create me four. Chandra, Lily, Valia, and probably something else. And then also Fan is doing some altars, hopefully. And Brie is doing some, Brianne is doing some altars. Brianne is doing some altars. I'm also getting other altars commissioned. So I love artwork. At the flea market, I go once a probably once a week, once every two weeks, to talk to my artist who's 13 years old. And she creates all the artwork for my downtown office as well as my home office. So this is kind of the new deal they have. I haven't tried this. If you guys want me to try it, I will try it. But right now I'm buying the long boxes. And this was, let me see if this is right. Actually, this was not $10, this was $20. But let's see if I got $20 worth. Most times you are not going to get your value's worth. Ancestral Knowledge, it's a pretty good card. Unfortunately, I didn't get the blue one. If I had the blue one, we would hit 20 already. But this wasn't 10, this is 20, I forgot. I combined the two piles. But one of the piles wasn't very good. Uh, these dragons used to be so valuable. Like Mist Dragon was one of the better cards in all of Magic. It's still kind of interesting because it has the flying and then lose flying. So if you had something that would give it bonuses based on triggering abilities, this could go infinite. My favorite card, Dingaroo. So I found a ton of Dingaroos. Like as many Narwhals I have, I have Dingaroos, which is great. But they came in a different... So what happened was someone bought a lot of, a lot of homelands and then it was split and I had the blue version of the homelands, right? So I had some Narwhals, but I didn't have the artifacts until recently. I think I'm the only one buying it, which wouldn't surprise me, but it's not the greatest. Dawn of the Dead, Mortal Kombat. Now this card's an interesting speculation. Let me talk about this card a little bit because I love it as a spec and you can get it for like pennies and a dollar. Mill in yourself is becoming something viable now in the idiots. And this is the ultimate mill card. I remember when I played it during Odyssey, it was really good. It got you to your threshold, which everyone was trying to get to, super fast, and then you could flashback stuff. It was a very good card back then, and still kind of good today. This, okay, so this card was at one time the most expensive card in Alliance. If you traded a force, a playset of Force of Wills for this, that was considered you were sharking. You, the person giving up the plays at Force Wells, were sharking the person for this card. And it shows you how far creatures have got gone. My Balance of Powers, Contingent, one of my favorite ones, and Bounty of the Hunt. So actually this was not really good for $20. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. I thought it was a lot better. At $10, I think it was okay, because you got your value in the beginning, I think. I think this is worth like a dollar or two. Uh, overall, like, remember, you can always resell the bulk. So it's not like something that is uh, particularly crazy. You will always kind of get your money back. I think if you buy enough, you get your money back. It's like a lottery. No, it's not like the lottery. But okay, for 20 bucks, would I rather have a bunch of, and again, for 20 bucks, I'm also receiving 2,000 cards, right? So 20 bucks versus is half a fat pack. A fat pack, or a bundle, as they call it now, is five cards, or five, half a bundle is five booster packs. So you get five rares. I got more than five rares, and I would say I'm very pleased with this, right? I would much rather do this type of thing than buy a fat pack, and that's what I'm leaning towards. Now this deal was kind of interesting. Three rares and seven uncommon singles. Mm. And it's not bulk. So what you have to understand about this repack is they look over they have probably 100, 200, 300. It's really hard to pinpoint how many cards they have. E even though I have a large collection, as Isabel will tell you, 
the closets are full of magic cards, like literally like full, like walk-in closets full of magic cards. And I still cannot estimate how much they have because they have more than that. It's probably maybe half a, I wouldn't be surprised if it was like a million plus magic cards in this flea market. And the funny part is like, they don't need to like, they just close the door and no one steals it because it's bulk. It would take too long for you to carry it out, right? So there would be no incentive to steal it. But for these, he has a binder and he's very fair. He doesn't speak English. I'm not sure how he got started in this, but he's not viewing magic cards for what they are worth. He's more of a volume player. And when stores go out of business, so he also has Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm gonna take you there next week, assuming it's not 95 degrees or 100 degrees. I will ask him in Spanish using Google Translate, can I take like videos of his store? His store is this massive warehouse, there's no air conditioning. And that's why like I'm saying like, it's really, really difficult to uh, pick bulk because it's 95, 100 degrees. But there is Mexican Coca-Cola, which again is my favorite Coca-Cola. And I love Mexican Coca-Cola. And I love like, you can catch a soccer game. Everyone's super friendly and super nice. It's like when I went to Acro Ghana, for the 50 year anniversary of independence when they, uh, with like all my NYU friends, it was amazing. And people were super nice and they had this fufu dish that everyone got sick. Fufu is like, like soup, like fish soup. And it was amazing, but the people were just very nice. And this is like the flea market. The people are just nice people. They're not there to like rip you off. You're not there to rip them off. Everyone's really happy. Anyway, that is it. Bye guys.